Hello my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heyer and I believe in dragons. Um, and I also believe in dragon gods. Tiamat, Favnir, Quetzalcoatl and Leviathan. The four dragon, main dragon gods. There are other dragon gods, but these are the main dragon gods. They had a lot of different names over the years, but that was the names that they were given by humanity. Um, Leviathan, Favnir, Quetzalcoatl and uh, Favnir. Leviathan, Quetzalcoatl, Favnir, Tiamat. Tiamat, so, sorry. Uh, so yes, um, I discovered what my uh, dragon god or goddess was and it seems that it was Tiamat. Tiamat, but you can have also as a father a Leviathan, Favnir or Quetzalcoatl. Uh, Quetzal, uh, I mean um, Leviathan. I actually, I'm actually not really sure what the gender energy is of Leviathan. I believe it's both female and male. Uh, Tiamat, that is clear, that is female. And Favnir and Quetzalcoatl are both male. And I have to say, um, it's a little bit of balance. Um, and one of these dragon gods is responsible for your birth. I am sure of it. And these uh, gods uh, have given you a gift. This gift is, be, is being called a dragon energy. And this energy is um, a, a spirit that you were born with. And this is um, being given to you by them and uh, to protect them and to guide them they are, we have been given a whole dragon eye and this dragon eye has a lot of dragon spirits just ghosts ghosts from the past and they are still alive on the fifth gate but one of, or two or maybe several are being uh, sent to you uh, like guardian angels and they have a large connection with you uh, I, I, I can say that these uh, spirits, these dragon spirits, love you very, very much. The love that you feel for the dragon is often the, the love that they feel for you. And um, to, you, to them, you are a brother or a sister, a lover or maybe a child. And you are the one that has to be protected, as they are being called guardians. Guardian angels, in this case, guardian dragons. Uh, character characteristics are also very different with, uh, with uh, which kind of dragon god that you have. Um, Leviathan, for example. These people are extremely smart, but don't really actually um, fit in into this society of humanity. They just want to, actually, they just don't want to be here most of the, most of the time. Um, Leviathan's children are... Yeah, confused a bit, and um, but at the same time they, they know for sure what they want, but they are confused by this humanity, by this world. They are really not fitting in. Leviathan's children are powerful, powerful dragon witches and dragon followers, but this is um, a very difficult. This is a very hard test. If if Leviathan is the one that woke you up. Uh, it is a very hard test for them. This, I, I believe from all the dragon gods that this is the hardest. Uh, Leviathan can be as well as your mother or your father. Like I said before, the gender is not really determined. Yeah, uh, it, I mean, Leviathan seems like both. Like not really having uh, a choice. And uh, Tiamat, for what my dragon goddess is, uh, Tiamat's children are... At the same time softies and at the same time very very hard i mean um like for example um Tiamat's children they love the earth so much and they love the animals and they want to protect it but don't for ex especially for Tiamat's children um they are very gentle they try to be uh, normal they try to fit in even though they cannot really fit in they are also like leviathan different but they don't like to uh, they don't want others to know it um, and uh, for example Levite, uh, I mean Tiamat's children if there was a bug lying on its back um, I, I would be the one and most of the children of Tiamat to give it a push so it can go go on um, yeah and for the weaker uh, it will take care of the weaker ones but if someone approaches them and try to challenge them then the dragon is awakened. And that is what Tiamat's children are. Children are. They are 
um, they are very, very, nice, very extreme warriors. They will fight for what they th they believe is good. They will fight for their mom, for Leviathan. They will fight for wh whoever they love so much until the end. So whoever wakens up the dragon, Tiamat's child, in Tiamat's child, is in for a nasty surprise. Uh, and then you have Quetzal Kotals, and that is the air. If if this is if this is the one who wakes you up, that is uh, Quetzal Kotal is being called the wisest of the dragon gods, and these. Uh, children, the children of Quetzalcoatl are the ones who really use their brain. They have this wisdom that I can, I cannot compare myself with. Um, it's uh, yeah, Quetzalcoatl is the one who doesn't, who didn't um, demand the sacrifice. Uh, in for, uh, unfortunate they did, but he didn't want it because he was also the one who wanted who was the compassionate, the compassionate God, and he didn't want to sacrifice, he didn't want to see blood in, in his name. He also was the one that has to say you have to evolve. Every generation is a, a, an intelligent, more intelligent one, and you will be, uh, a, a, every generation further on will evolve, it will be better. And so, children of Quetzalcoatl are really the philosophy more the philosophy and also uh, in, in yeah in, in wisdom and they will foresee things much more. Um, they, these are the children that I, I actually learn from the most. Um, if Quetzalcoatl is the one, um, I can be as a child as a child of Tiamat. I can be very my my negative thing is um, very very too hard. When I have this rage, I just don't think anymore and. Um, Quetzalcoatl's ch children, they don't really, they can balance this rage much more than a child of Tiamat. And they can balance also every feeling that they have. They can restrict it, but they can, they, they don't, they don't uh, for enforce it. They just want to balance it. And they can, they can do this. And then you have Favnir. Favnir was the latest uh, of the dragon gods, and he was, of course, <coughs> the fire, the fire that we have in us. A fire, hmm. Yes, <coughs> if you're a child of Favnir, Favnir is the one that just take no, he has, he has no borders, he has, he, he does what he, what, what he wants, he does what he does. The child of, of Favnir is a child that is very fierce, a very uh, I just don't fucking care. You see, um, this is the dragon where every dragon now is based on. The fire breathing. But this is not really fire breathing that you can do. It's it's inside of you. The fire that rages inside of you. Like, ju you just don't care. If I want to have sex, I'm going to have sex. If I want to have... Uh, if I want to fight with someone, I'm going to do it. You see? But it's still a dragon. So... A dragon is wisdom, and this wisdom will be also in the child of in the child of Favnir, but it's much more fierce. As you, uh, the thing is with the children of Favnir that you just cannot predict what they are going to do next. Their uh, their chaos is still in chaos, and they will go into a road that you just don't see coming. And yet we are all four dragon gods and we are all connected with each other and all the four dragon gods are responsible for the life on earth and uh, even if, if if you have a different dragon god if, if it's Fafnir, Quetzalcoatl or Leviathan we are still brothers and sisters as we as they all four came to this earth come together didn't want to work along but they had to and this cost life and all four of them are still here with us. And they have sent dragons to us to be our guardian. And these dragons don't have to be uh, connected with, uh, with the elements of the dragon gods. They can have a different element. For example, if your dragon god is Leviathan, water, uh, then you can have a child of Favnir to protect you. Because this is always balance, you see. Uh, water and fire, you see, and then the the circle connects with each other it's still balance and um you more of, more often balance with 
uh, a dragon that is from a different energy, from a different uh, natural element, in order um, to have this balance. And that you can work together, to work along, and because you have a history with this dragon. What this history is, that is something that you can discover from your own energy. Maybe visions, maybe thoughts, your mind, you can read your mind. Um, so yeah, all of four dragon gods, they had a lot of names over the years. Um, and all dragon gods, you don't have to see them as this modern religion see gods. Uh, these gods are light and dark, so this is so uh, good and bad, dark and light, together. I mean, if you look at some of the dragon gods and what they have done, I mean, oh, okay, um, Favnir, uh, not Favnir, um, I mean, Tiamat and especially Quetzalcoatl, they both uh, strive for helping the helpless, for being the voice of them. Um, they are the gods that ask for compassion. Leviathan and Favnir, on the other hand, say um, you have to go through it in order to, to reach your goal. And sometimes this can have consequences for the creatures or beings on your side. Totally different. I mean, Quetzalcoatl and uh, Tiamat are, yeah, they, can, they are the opposite of each other. And the other ones, Favnir and Quetzalcoatl, are also in this circle, facing each other. And together, uh, all, all together, you have a circle of balance. And that is also the case with your Dragon Guardian. You will have this circle of balance. That is also, most of the time, it's the case that you have the opposite gender. The gender energy of uh, a dragon, of a guardian, that is by your side. Uh, it, can be, it can be so much so that the energy inside of you has a different gender energy than what you are. And then you, as a, as a, as a for example, a female, can feel much more this male energy because of this energy inside of you, draconic male energy, and that is totally different than a human one. And then it can be very confusing when this starts to change, when this energy is starting to find himself, and you are starting to find yourself into this. This can be very confusing. This can be also something totally new for you. And uh, you have to, like I said, if you feel something like that, just let it go. Just don't care about what people are going to say if you're about to change or something like that. Just let everything go. Don't force any feeling. And yeah, this is, yeah, and everything, everything is about discovering on our path. Everything. Every new feeling that you have. Don't force anything, my brothers and sisters. It's who you are. And you, you are also this energy that is inside of you. The more it will grow, the more it will be part of you. You were born with this. And the dragon gods gave you this gift. They were, they were with you, and so were your dragon guardians. All this time. And you are trying to find with them your own unique path. Born out of chaos, you will find your own unique path. My brothers and sisters, blessed.